In today's tutorial, we are going to use the layer style functionality to transform a simple designs like this one into something more dimensional. Let's get started. For this exercise, import a PNG image of your choice into Krita. The image can be from any royalty-free stock media websites like Pixabay or from your own library. Whatever you decide, just make sure that the image has no background. To import an image into Krita, go to Layer, select Import Export and choose Import Layer. Choose your image and open it. Hit Ctrl J twice and make two copies of your image. You can turn them off as we don't need them yet. Click on your original picture, right click, select layer style. When the layer styles window opens, make sure that the enable effects box is checked. In the next few minutes I am going to share with you my settings, however please remember that these are only examples, so feel free to experiment and tweak the settings to your liking. We are going to start with a drop shadow page. In order to preview the settings, always make sure to check the box right next to your page. Have your blending mode to multiply. Set the opacity to 75%. The angle of your shadow should be 120 degrees. Choose a distance that is close to your lines, 21 pixels is a good number. Now look what happens if I increase the value of my distance. The shadow moves away from the lines. However, it is a personal choice. If you rather have your shadow away from your lines, please make sure to increase your distance. If not, 21 pixels is a nice distance. I always leave the spread to 0% and for the size I chose 21 pixels because it was closer to the size of the lines. Click on Inner Glow and check the box to activate your preview. The blending mode will be a linear dodge. The opacity can go down to 38%. Leave the color to white, the technique to softer, and the source can be changed to center. You can increase the choke to 22% and the size decrease it to maybe 9 pixels. Check bevel and emboss and check the box to activate the preview. You want inner bevel and maybe choose a chisel hard. Decrease maybe the percentage of depth to 61% or 50% if you want. The direction is up and the size can be increased maybe to 30 pixels. You can soften the edges or leave them at 0 pixels. I am going to leave the angle and the altitude values alone. The only thing here that I'm going to change is I'm going to decrease the opacity of the shadow. Now I could continue and work on texture, satin, color overlay, gradient overlay, etc, etc, but I decided to stop right here. Click on Save As and choose a name for your new style. 
So here I'm going to use a cat tutorial video and uh, click OK. So in order to see all your style or your library of styles, you will always uh, click on this page. All right, we're going to click OK. We are done right here. There is one thing I would like to show you before to continue is that you can always uh, turn off uh, your effects. Just click on the effects button and it will go back to the original picture. To see your effects again, just click back on the button. I am going to now activate uh, the first copy. Lock the alphas. Choose a color, maybe something uh, dark red. And uh, using the shortcut uh, Shift plus the backspace, you are going to fill the layer with the color. And because uh, you uh, locked the alpha, only the lines in your layers are going to be filled with your color. Now change the blending mode maybe to overlay and maybe decrease the opacity or increase it. Just do whatever you think is the best for your design. Now to activate the next copy. Lock the alphas. But this time we are going to choose something very light. Shift plus backspace. Leave it to normal. Now using the arrow right here, you are going to move it at the very bottom. So now it's underneath all of the, our design. Grab your move tool. Using the arrows on your keyboard, you're going to click twice toward the right and maybe once toward the top. And you are done. Now, if you are not happy with this color, you can always change it. So we have our little highlight at the bottom. We have our effects and here we have the overlay color. So do a control U if you don't like the shade and change the U of your color maybe. We are going to make a copy of this. So hit a control J. Leave it to overlay, that is fine. Go to filter, start gimmick. In the search bar, type glow. Choose a light glow. Now play with a different uh, mode and see what works best for your image. Click OK. Now decrease the opacity of your layer and look without and with. Maybe do a Ctrl J to make a copy and amplify the effect. We are going to now create a new paint layer on the very top. Grab your hand free brush and select a brush in the FX, the FX tag right here. You are going to use this brush, the stamp sparkle. Make sure the flow is at 100%. The color is white. And uh, maybe the size is as big as this and now create some little sparkles. Now you can add more layers on the top and uh, maybe add some texture if you wanted. 
So I am going to look for an image on the Pixabay and see if I can find a metal or a metallic uh, image. All right, so I found uh, this uh, Pixabay image of a rusty metal plate. I am going to make it uh, bigger. And it can go maybe on the top of my image. Here you go. All right. So the first thing that I need to do now is I am going to create a group of all of this. So holding the shift key, I'm going to select all my layers and do a control G. G for group. Now this is going to move underneath my paint layer when I did all my sparkles. And I am going to lock the alpha right here. And as you can see now, it just uh, is within the limits of my design. Maybe let's do an overlay. I like that. And uh, maybe let's do a control U and uh, change a few things. And here it is pretty good right we have a very metallic looking design and we are done for today i hope this was helpful please give it a try and let me know how it went i'll see you next time until then have a wonderful weekend au revoir et à bientôt